Hello again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz video for you. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at features within the Fritz software, which is produced by ChessBase, as you may be aware. Uh, this also applies to any software, by the way, that is produced by ChessBase, any of the playing programs like Fritz, Ribco, Junior, Hierarchs, and Shredder. We were looking last week at uh, visualization training in the Fritz software. Uh, or as I said any of the playing programs. Every piece casts a shadow. Every piece controls squares on the board, has squares it can move to, squares that it can capture on. So every piece casts a shadow. And the interaction, seeing the interaction of those shadows, how the pieces, yours and your opponents interact, constitutes visualization, board vision, looking at the board and seeing the potential within a position. And there are ways to train your visualization skills using this chess software. We looked at one of them last week, which was attack training. This week we're going to look at something related, but a little bit different, defense training. We're going to go to training, and when you mouse over the defense training button, you'll see a pop-up that says click all white and black pieces that are not defended. You recall last week with attack training, you had to click on every piece that was under attack. This time around, you're going to, you're going to click on every piece that's hanging, every piece that does not have a defender. Click on that button and you see a dialogue very similar to the attack training dialogue from last week. Your instructions are click all white and black pieces that are not defended. Choose your database. You can use this button to select a database. Just go to computer, the drive, go to any folder where you know you have a database. Just drill down to it and select it. I've selected Mega Database 2011. Pick your first game that you want to start working with. Again, this can be any game. Obviously, you don't want to put in a higher number than the number of games in the database, but you can start anywhere in the database. Mega Database has millions of games in it, so I went to game 500,000. Minutes, select the amount of time you want your training session to last. Uh, this is not a race. This is not something you're being, you're being uh, graded on. There's not a running total of how well you've done. This is just strictly training for your benefit, kind of like lifting weights. You're just training to be training to improve your skills. So this just determines how long your training session is going to last. In this case, we'll pick three minutes because this video is not Ben-Hur. I only have a limited amount of time. Click OK when you're ready to start and now you have a position taken from that game, game 500,000 in the database that Fritz has selected. I have to click on every piece that is not defended by another piece. So that isn't defended. The queen is not defended. The bishop is not defended. Uh, this bishop is not defended. The king's holding all the pawns. The pawns are holding each other and this queen is defending both of these pawns. So I think black's pretty well locked down. White king holds these pawns Queen defends the knight. The queen itself is not defended. The rook is not defended. And this pawn is not defended either. Notice that once I've successfully completed the position, it kicks me into the next game in the database with another position. So first thing you do, you need to look to see which side white is playing from. That will help you with the pawn uh, positions. This pawn is not defended. I don't believe this pawn is defended either. Um, all this is held down. We've got a rook hanging out here. We've got another rook hanging out here. And then for white, this pawn is not being held down. Neither is this one. Looks like the rook does not have a defender either. Um, this rook is not defended. And this pawn. Nope, the bishop has the pawn. So I've missed something. I've either clicked something that is defended. That rook is defended. That's what the deal was. I clicked a piece that was defended. And then boom, you're into another position. So once again, we start looking and we see the queen is not defended, this queen is not defended, uh, this pawn is not defended, bishop's hanging out there, we have a pawn here that's not defended, this pawn is not defended, and I've either clicked on a piece, either I'm missing a piece, or I've clicked on a piece that is actually defended. No. That's not defended either. So something's messed up. I have something here that I'm missing. So we'll click the stop process button. And I had incorrectly clicked on this pawn. Notice that the knight did defend it. So I got one wrong. Anytime you click that stop button up there, it will stop the clock and it will 
show you in yellow anything that you missed. Same thing will happen, by the way, if you run through, like if you set your training for three minutes, and when you hit that three-minute mark and you haven't finished that last position, the process will stop, and it will show you anything that you missed in yellow and anything that you got wrong in red, as you see here. So it's very simple. Basically, what you're looking at is any piece that is hanging, any piece that is not defended, you need to click on uh, in order to successfully complete that problem and move on to the next one. And this is training for your visualization skills, how well you read the board, how well you see those shadows that those pieces cast. There's more training, even more, in this software, and we'll look at another training function in our next video. Until then, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.